Hand winches give you the mechanical advantage to lift or pull a load and are a great cost-effective alternative to using an electronic winch or hoist. In today's video, we're going to show you how to properly assemble, mount, spool, and operate our stainless steel and painted hand winches. Hand winches can be mounted onto a solid metal or wood structure using the versatile mounting holes on its frame. Our manual hand winches don't have any directional levers and instead rely on an internal brake and pause system to safely increase, hold, and release tension. Our hand winches have a 4 to 1 gear ratio and can be used with various different sizes and types of cable and rope to suit many different types of applications. We offer hand winches in 1,200 pound, 1,800 pound, and 2,600 pound load capacities with your choice of painted steel or stainless steel. Before operating your cable winch, the reel must first be properly spooled with cable. To do this, first seize the end of the cable with electrical tape. Then insert the cable in through the set screw and insert it into the catch hole so that at least one cable diameter length of wire rope protrudes from the other side. Slide the set screw up the cable, insert it into the set screw hole, and then lightly fasten the provided nut to the set screw. Use a hex key to orient the set screw so that the cable will flow with the rounded shape of the spool. Finally, finish tightening the set screw nut with the cable pointing in the correct position. To spool the hand winch, begin turning the handle and guide the cable onto the spool while applying constant tension to the cable. If you release tension from the cable while winding, the cable will likely bird nest on the spool. This condition can reduce the life of your cable because if not properly respooled, the cable can knife into other layers and get wedged, kinked, and undergo severe abrasion. Continue applying cable until the cable is equally distributed across the spool. The minimum amount of cable wraps on the spool at any given time should always be four wraps to maintain its proper load holding capacity. The maximum amount of cable on the spool is determined by the cable diameter and must sit two diameters below the portion of the reel where it starts to angle outwards. Visit the hand winch section of our website to see a table with the maximum lengths of cable you can spool on the winch in various cable diameters. Keep in mind that the greatest mechanical advantage and the lowest force required to pull a load is achieved when you have the fewest layers of cable on your winch so it is a good idea to keep the shortest length of cable on your winch that will still work for your application. With your cable spooled, your winch is now ready for service. In order to increase the cable's service life and help with level winding on the spool, the attachment pointer guide system should be mounted at least 42 inches from the winch as well as directly in line with the center of the winch. We hope this video has answered any questions or concerns you might have about our stainless steel and painted hand winches. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on our website. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on various rigging topics. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.